Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to see how to configure a blueprint in Zoho Creator. The screen we see now is a sample app to help an HR team manage their organization's recruitment process. Here we have a candidate application form that will be shared with candidates to apply for the interview. This form can also be made public, so everyone can access this form from various job portals. HR will then shortlist the candidates and invite them for an interview. The interview invitation form will help HR schedule the candidate's interview. An email can be triggered to candidates with the interview information upon filling out the form. The remaining modules, qualification, experience, and proof of documents are used as subforms in the candidate application form. So the candidate application acts as the main form based on which we will create the blueprint and automate the hiring process. Now let's proceed to create the blueprint. Once you're in the editor, go to the workflow section, select the blueprint workflow type, then click to create the blueprint to create a new process. To do this, First, we have to choose the form based on which we want to make the blueprint. In this case, it's the candidate application form. Next, give a name to the blueprint process. We also have the option to run the blueprint process based on a certain condition. Let's say you want to execute this process only for candidates who have applied for the technical support engineer position. In that case, you can set a condition saying, Applying for equals technical support engineer. For demonstration purposes, let's stick to the always option. Now proceed to create the blueprint. This is the blueprint builder. Let's start by adding the stages in the recruitment process. Hit add stages and add the stage applied for interview. And now the stage has been created. Now let's repeat the process to add the remaining stages. Application shortlisted, application rejected, invited for technical interview, invited for HR interview, rejected in technical interview, issued offer letter, and rejected. And now the stages have been created as well. Based on the hiring process, let's arrange and connect them in the builder. Drag and drop the first stage of the recruitment process, Applied for Interview. The Start button that appears on the Builder indicates that the process begins from there. Let's drag and drop the remaining stages onto the Builder. Application Shortlisted. Application Rejected. Invited for Technical Interview. Invited for HR Interview. Rejected in Technical Interview. Issued Offer Letter. And Rejected. Now that we've arranged the stages in the Builder, let's connect them using transitions. Transitions are the intermediate phases between stages. They can also be considered the actions that must be fulfilled to move from one stage to another. Just mouse over a stage, and the dots will appear along the boundary lines. Then draw an arrow to connect two stages. You'll see the Add Transition option on the right when you establish this connection. In this case, we can add a transition like Reviewed and Accepted. This transition will appear as a button on the candidate application report. Clicking the button will move the process from the applied to the shortlisted stage. There should always be a transition between any two stages. We've posted separate videos on transition types and properties. Now, let's proceed to connect the remaining stages. Connect these two stages and name them Reviewed and Rejected. Technical Interview Invite HR interview invite, lacks technical expertise, cleared HR, and rejected by HR. Now that we've connected all the stages by adding a transition between them, the process has been created. Save the blueprint. If you'd like, you can modify the stage name by clicking on the stage and updating the label name, or delete a stage if you don't need it anymore. Now it's time to access the app. Let's quickly add a sample record to the candidate application form. Access the report and you'll see a blueprint stage column with the first stage name, applied for interview, assigned to the record. 
the Blueprint Stage column will not be on the report by default. You'll have to add the field from the Configure Fields section of the report. Click on the record and you'll see the current stage of the record and the related transitions will be available as buttons. If HR wants to accept the candidate's application, they can hit Reviewed and Accepted. Otherwise, they can reject it. If HR accepts the candidate, they'll be moved to the next stage, Shortlisted. Similarly, HR can update the status of candidate requirements after every round of interviews. This helps HR track the candidate's status using the Blueprint Stage field. You can also configure workflows based on the Blueprint Stage field. Let's say HR wants to add a new employee to the company's IT asset portal. In this case, you can create a workflow to push the data to the asset portal for the candidates with the Blueprint Stage as Issued Offer Letter. Great! So that's all we have for creating blueprints in Zoho Creator. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.